So let's jump on the birria bandwagon and make this delicious stew so we can make some fabulous tacos. Let's make them, shall we? Welcome to my workshop. So birria is said to be created in Jalisco, Mexico, and it's served basically everywhere in Mexico and the United States. With the best birria, people say, is served in Jalisco, Guadalajara, and Tijuana. But let's make our version. So birria originally was made with goat or chivo, and the whole idea is because the meat was so tough, you cook it for long periods of time. So let's get started. So for my birria, I'm gonna use three types of dry chilies. I'm gonna use the ancho chili, I'm gonna use the chili de arbol, and I'm gonna use the guajillo chili. So the first thing I like to do is just cut off the end and just open it up and take the seeds off. I don't like to see a whole lot of seeds. Besides the seeds have a little bit of heat so we don't want to make it super extra spicy. So we're gonna clean them really well and then what I like to do is just add a little bit of hot water to the bowl that I have the chilies and just let them be there steep for five minutes or so. For my BTI I found some chuck and some sirloin so I'm gonna use that. You can use whatever cut of meat you prefer that is tough. Obviously you don't want to use an expensive cut of meat because it's not gonna be worth it. Um, you want something with a somewhat fatty and a lot of flavor. So what I do here I just cut it into big chunks and then I just season it. After being seasoned, I immediately go and brown my meat. I like to brown my the meat here so it has a little bit more flavor obviously because of the caramelization and uh, I like to brown the meat whenever I'm doing a stew or anything that I'm bracing. Once the meat has brown, now I'm gonna put it in my Insta Pot and I'm gonna add some onions, I'm gonna add five cloves of garlic, I'm gonna add some bay leaves, a third of a cinnamon stick, cumin, salt, pepper, and six chili de arbol, seven guajillo, and three of the ancho chili. I'm gonna cover with the broth and lock my Instapot and cook for about 45 minutes. Now that the 45 minutes are gone, look at this beautiful meat. It's extremely tender. It's got a beautiful color and it's a little darker because of the ancho chili. But now I'm just gonna grab my vegetables, put them in the blender and blend it with a little bit of that broth that came off of the meat and make this delicious spicy red puree. Add it back to the sauce and then I'm gonna use this and grab some of uh, the meat and shred it. I'm gonna shred this beef. It shreds really easily and add it to the sauce. Obviously I strain the rest of the broth then the meat and the broth will come together. I'll add a little bit of the fat that was on top of the broth before. I just gonna save it so I can fry my tacos in it and now we're all ready to go. So I get my griddle out out. I use some of the fat from the broth and the meat. I put some of that, uh, the tortilla, the corn tortilla on the fat and then I put it on the griddle so it starts getting nice and crunchy. I add some cheese first. This is a Oaxaca cheese that is really nice for the quesadillas. It melts really nice. Add the meat into it, add a little bit of the consomme or the broth and fold it over and then let it become crispy and nice turn it the other way do the same process until the cheese is melted everything is crispy it's delicious it looks fantastic serve it with a cup of your broth so you can dip it in there and eat it and then you can just eat the rest of the soup as well my kids like always being the way they are they cook some rice and they're eating the broth with the rice too i hope you have enjoyed this recipe as much as i have it's something that is super popular right now it is delicious to eat and to make it's a little tedious but it's a long process but it's all worth it like i have said before remember that the recipe you can find it in my youtube channel under more information please share this recipe with your friends follow me on tiktok youtube facebook instagram and it's been great doing this for you guys stay healthy take care ciao